The story of the Maine Coon is one of intrigue and drama. They were initially kept as barn cats in the state of Maine and were prized for their formidable rodent hunting abilities. Despite the hostile nature of the Maine weather, the Maine Coon adapted and grew an impressive thick double coat, keeping them healthy and strong. As time passed, people began to recognize the potential of cats as companions and began to showcase their most beautiful cats in cat shows. Maine Coons were shown in local cat shows as early as the 1860s, where their muscular and fierce look quickly captured audiences' attention. As cat shows grew increasingly popular, Maine Coons, then known as Maine Cats, became stars of the show, and people couldn't stop falling in love with them. So what could possibly have gone wrong? The 1900s came, and the unthinkable happened. Maine Coons drastically dropped in popularity. Exotic breeds like Persians, Angoras, and Burmese stole the spotlight, and people forgot all about the majestic Maine Coon. Maine Coon's popularity got so low that Maine Coons were declared extinct in the late 1950s. Yep, this loving, gentle giant almost vanished. Obviously, Maine Coons weren't entirely gone, though their numbers were very scarce. At this point, Maine Coons were failed both by the people they once served and by the associations, who didn't even bother checking if they were really extinct. Thanks to a handful of passionate breeders, the Maine Coon breed was brought back from the brink. These breeders established a Maine Coon Cat Club and organized Maine Coon-only cat shows in order to keep the breed alive. Unfortunately, due to the limited genetic variation, Maine Coons became susceptible to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. HCM is a hereditary disease affecting the cat's heart and often leads to death at an early age. Currently, only a few of the genes causing HCM have been identified, meaning that even a kitten with healthy parents may develop it. Maine Coons are also prone to other health issues, like hip dysplasia. It's unfortunate that the Maine Coon, which was once so genetically diverse, is now at risk for various genetic diseases. This is yet another way humans have let the Maine Coon down. Fortunately, the impressive size of Maine Coons was retained, yet this can be a significant setback for them. Uninformed individuals may take them in as a status symbol, without realizing that Maine Coons are typically lively and require a great deal of exercise and affection, ultimately resulting in the cat being surrendered for adoption. Unfortunately, the list goes on. Maine Coons with extra toes are not allowed to participate in cat competitions, so breeders typically avoid this trait. Yet, polydactylism is thought to be a trait that enhanced their capability to navigate through deep snow, so it should be praised rather than penalized. While most feline associations do not accept Maine Coons with extra toes, TICA, a significant cat organization, has a separate category for them. So that's something. As with any popular cat breed, there's also a harsh truth of kitten mills. These establishments are unlicensed breeders, keeping and breeding cats in appalling conditions for the sole purpose of profit. The parents are typically allowed to mate, even if they're sick. And unfortunately, kitten mills will continue to exist as long as people buy cheap pets from shady places. That's why we strongly recommend not buying from such places. Instead, get your kitten from a reliable breeder, or better yet, adopt a non-pedigreed one and provide it with a loving home. You can also help to spread awareness about kitten mills to your friends and family. Even if the Maine Coons past was filled with hurdles and uncertainty, Maine Coons are now unstoppable and are consistently at the top of the most beloved cat breeds in the world. Check this video next if you want to learn more about these magnificent cats, and tell us in the comments, do you think the Maine Coons fame will ever go away?